Hi everyone, this session is about construction of NFA for the given regular expression. If a regular expression is given, first it must be converted to epsilon NFA. That means NFA with epsilon moves. Then it can be converted to NFA that is NFA without epsilons. Then NFA must be converted to DFA. So, if any regular expression is given, so first we need to convert that into epsilon NFA and epsilon NFA can be converted into NFA. In my previous videos, I have explained NFA is converted into DFA. This is also explained in my previous videos. I will give the link in the description. Please go through the videos. Now we will see how to construct the finite automata for the given regular expression. Suppose R1 is a regular expression. For that equivalent finite automata is Q0 is the starting state. Q0 on R1 it is moving to the state Q1 and Q1 is the final state. Similarly, R2 is also a regular expression. Now we will construct the equivalent finite automata for R2. So already Q1 is used so that we will take Q2 and Q2 is the starting state. Q2 on R2 it is moving to the state Q3 and Q3 is the final state. Now we can able to construct union operation on R1 and R2. So union on R1 and R2 can be represented as R1 plus R2. So now we need to construct the finite automata for R1 plus R2. By seeing this one we can understand that R1 plus R2 means either with R1 it can reach the final state or with R2 it can reach the final state. For that first we will write the above things as it is. So Q0 on R1 it is moving to the state Q1 and Q2 on R2 it is moving to the state Q3 and now we need to perform union operation so that we need to take new state that is Q4 and Q4 on epsilon it is moving to the state Q0 and Q4 on epsilon it is moving to the state Q2 and Q4 must be the starting state either by selecting this R1 path it can reach the final state or by selecting the other path that is R2 it has to reach the final state so already Q4 is used so that Q5 we are using as a new state and this is the final state and Q1 on epsilon it is reaching the final state and Q3 on epsilon it is reaching the final state that is with R1 or R2 it is reaching the final state. We can also perform concatenation operation on R1 and R2. So it can be represented as R1 is concatenated with R2. So first we will write the R1, R2 regular expressions one besides the other. So Q0 on R1 it is moving to the state Q1 and Q2 on R2 it is moving to the state Q3. Now we need to concatenate them and Q1 on epsilon it is moving to the state Q2 that means without reading any symbol from Q1 it is reaching the state Q2 and Q2 on R2 it is moving to the state Q3 so that Q3 we can make it as a final state. Q0 on R1 it is moving to Q1 and Q1 without reading any symbol Q2 and Q2 on R2 it is moving to the state Q3 that means R1 is concatenated with R2. Now we will construct the finite automata for the regular expression R3 star. First we will construct the finite automata for R3. Q0 is the starting state and Q0 on R3 it is moving to the state Q1 and Q1 is the final state. Now we will start constructing the finite automata for R3 star. So for that we need to take two extra states that is Q2 and Q3. Already we have taken Q0 and Q1 and Q0 on R3 it is moving to the state Q1 and Q2 on epsilon it is moving to the state Q0 and Q1 on epsilon it is moving to the state Q3 and Q2 is the starting state and Q3 is the final state 
and we know that r3 power star means r3 power 0 union r3 power 1 union r3 power 2 and so on r3 power 0 means epsilon that means without reading any symbols it has to reach the final state so now q2 is the starting state and q3 is the final state so that q2 on epsilon without reading any symbols it has to reach the final state that is q3 and we know that clean closure means R3 can be repeated for any number of times. For that, we are adding new transition that is Q1 on epsilon. It is moving to the state Q1. So that without reading any symbol from Q2, it is reaching the final state that is Q3. And R3 can be repeated for any number of times using this loop. See here Q0 on R3, it is moving to Q1. Q1 on epsilon it is moving to Q0 and Q0 on R3 it is moving to Q1. So it can be repeated for any number of times. Now we will see with an example how to construct epsilon NFA for the given regular expression. Suppose the regular expression is 1 plus 0 is concatenated with 0 power star. So the given regular expression is of the format R1 union R2 is concatenated with R3 star. So here R1 is 1 and R2 is 0 and R3 is 0. So first we will start constructing the finite automata for R1. R1 is 1. So Q0 is the starting state and Q0 on 1 it is moving to the state Q1 and Q1 is the final state. Now we will construct the finite automata for R2. So, already Q1 is used so that we will use Q2 on 0 because R2 is 0 and it is moving to state Q3 and Q3 is the final state and Q2 is the starting state. Now, we will start constructing the finite automata for R3 star. So, R3 is 0 so that we need to take already Q3 is used so that Q4 Q5, Q6 and Q7 and Q4 on epsilon it is moving to the Q5 and R3 is 0 so that Q5 on 0 it is moving to Q6, Q6 on epsilon it is moving to Q7. R3 star means without reading any symbol it has to reach the final state so that Q4 on epsilon it is moving to the state Q7 and Q4 is the starting state and R3 must be repeated for any number of times so that we are adding a transition from Q6 to Q5 with epsilon transition and Q7 is the final state. In the given regular expression union operation is performed on R1 and R2 so that union operation means already Q7 is used so that we are taking an extra state that is Q8 we will write R1 and R2 as it is, that is Q0 on 1, it is moving to the state Q1 and Q2 on 0, it is moving to the state Q3 and one more state we have to take, that is Q9 and Q8 on epsilon, it is moving to the state Q0 and Q8 on epsilon, it is moving to the state Q2. And since it is union operation, either R1 or R2, it has to take the path. So, Q1 on epsilon, it is moving to the state Q9. Q3 on epsilon, it is moving to the state Q9. And Q8 is the starting state. That means by seeing the diagram, we can understand that it can take either this path or this path. This one is R1 and this one is R2. And in the given example, R1 plus R2 is concatenated with R3. So that we are writing R3 star here as it is, that is Q4, Q5, now R3 star is kept here as it is. Now R1 plus R2 must be concatenated with R3 star so that 
Q9 on epsilon it is moving to the state Q4 and Q7 is the final state and Q8 is the starting state. That means here R1 plus R2 that is R1 union R2 and it is concatenated with R3 star. This is how we need to construct the epsilon in FA for the given regular expression. This epsilon in FA can be converted into NFA and NFA can be converted into DFA. Please do subscribe and thanks for watching.